thinking about coming out here and getting your CDL at the Inc, at Prime Inc, this is one of the biggest questions that you guys have is about home time. When do you get to go home for the first time from the training? So you want to start at orientation. Your orientation is going to be about three to four days long, depending on where you're at or, you know, what the week's like. It's going to be about three to four days long. Then after that, the PSD phase is on average about two to four weeks. So that's with the instructor teaching you how to do all the stuff that you need to do to be successful. How to back, how to drive, you know, you're getting familiar with the truck. You're learning stuff. So some people learn quick, it's going to be shorter than that. So it's going to be about at the two week mark. Some people are slow learners, it's going to take longer. Then you're going to take your test and you're going to get another trainer about 50k miles, 50,000 miles of TNT. So that's an average about about 10 to 12 weeks depending on loads and stuff like that. Sometime during that TNT, your trainer will send you will take you home or you will get with your trainer and y'all will choose which day you need to go home. So you have either somewhere in there you're needing to switch your license over from a from a permit to an actual CD during the CDL during that time and you will have to go to your home state DMV and switch that over so you know there's that plus nobody wants to come out here and do the entire time together and not take any breaks during that. I very rarely hear of any TNT trainer that's all like, hey, we're going to go from the start to the end. There are some out there, but it's very rare. Come out here with the mindset of like, I want to do this. I want to work. I want to get my CDL. I will tell you about my experience. My experience coming out here is I got out here back. It doesn't matter what year. When I came out here, you got your, your permit here in Missouri like you would go to the DMV here you took your test here and so your license was from this state and you would switch your license over and you would get your permit and your residence was the campus the the hotel they have here and so I came out here October the 13th I did the permit test orientation back then it was four four or five days and I got my permit done. I got an instructor, a couple, maybe on the Saturday of that week, and we hit the road. And we stayed out for a while. We came back to test. I still haven't been home. We, we stayed out probably about five to six weeks. Came back to my test, and I trifected. So instead of going home to switch my CDL over, or my permit to CDL, it was right here in Springfield. So there wasn't no home time right there for me. So I went and switched my permit to a CDL at the DMV here, came back, gave them the paperwork, and I was hired on, and my TNT trainer said, said hey, we're gonna go home one time. Do you want to go home for Thanksgiving, or do you wanna go home for Christmas? Now, like, I'm a big dude, I love Thanksgiving. My, my gut was telling me Thanksgiving, my birthday is the 26th of November so that screams Thanksgiving but I got kids I knew Christmas was more important to my kids and it meant more to me to do the holiday for my kids so I chose the Christmas so I was out from October the 13th that's what the day I left and I was out until December um, like 22nd or something like that but I a lot of people are like tripping and their their heads just not in the game like whenever I came out here my head was completely in the game I was like I got to do this I have to do this there is no failure in this for me I don't care how long it takes I don't care how long I have to be away from my family I have to do this or I'm gonna lose everything and so I wasn't, I didn't care about home time. Whenever I left, I told my wife, I said, look, I don't know if I'll see you in like one month. I don't know if I'll see you in two months. I don't know if I'll see you in like three to four months. During that time, my, my wife's, um, whenever I was in the PSD part, my wife's uh, aunt passed away and I didn't get to go home for that. Like 
I wanted to, and my wife's like, there's nothing you can do, and I, I wanted to go home for it, and I was like, you know what, I'm motivated, I'm here, I gotta get this done, you know, my family's gonna be struggling, I, I gotta pay bills, I mean, like, I had to do this, and that's, that's the attitude we need, and that's what we need to do, stop worrying so much about when I'm gonna go home next, and get your head in there, once you get your own truck, go home as much as you want. Once you get that CDL and that stuff taken care of, go home. Spend time at home. Like, I'm not saying don't go home and not want to go home, but I'm saying get your stuff done. Take care of your business first. Then, once you once you get that taken care of, you can live like however you want. You run your own truck. Then, you make your own money. You know when you can afford to go home. Go home when you can afford it. Not go home because... I want to just go home. If you want to go home all the time, then trucking might not be for you. So I'm just letting you guys know that if you if you can't handle being away from home for a month or maybe two months or something like that, six weeks, four weeks, three weeks, whatever. If you cannot be home, tr over the road trucking might not be for you. Also, if you know that you're going to be home, you want it, your ultimate goal is to get one of those CDL jobs to be home more. Then you're going to that first year, that first year that you're out here, you're going to have to have those goals set. I got to do this now so later on I can be home more. You got to set yourself up for success. Most local jobs that are going to pay you the best, they're going to require like the two years to three years amount of experience the one year experience jobs they're okay I'm not knocking them sometimes you got a hookup and you got that job locked down it's just not all of them are going to be great you check around your area make sure that you know what you're getting into home time is important don't get me wrong I'm not saying don't go home I'm not saying hate your family or whatever I am just saying I'm just saying from the bottom of my heart get your priorities straight man like family is important get your stuff done one of my students one time and this guy I really suggested for him to go home I was like you got to go home his wife got hit by a car she was walking and she got hit by a car and I was like he came in that morning he told me about it. he was awful upset I was like do go home he goes no nah, we talked she's she's in the hospital she has a broken hip and she's she's like hey stay out there get your stuff done and I was like dude if you need to go home go home man like you can come back go home take care of your wife and he's like no nah, I'm testing out in like three to four days he goes let's just get this done I'll get my CDL and before I go on TNT training I'm gonna I'll go home and take care of some stuff so I made sure I let my fleet manager know the training department everybody hey this dude has to go home that's a situation that needed to happen you know there are situations that you're gonna be like hey I need to go home maybe you need to refill on your medication whatever the case may be if you can take care of that and get you enough supply to last you a while, go ahead and get that taken care of before you even come out here. That way you have plenty of medication. Guys, knowledge is power. Set yourself up for success. Be dedicated. Be motivated. And get that CDL. It'll change your life. Knowledge is power.